Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the news that Nev's agent, Sean Clark, who is responsible for booking her in all of her convention appearances, has revealed what Nev told him regarding when Scream 7 will begin filming. Now, in addition to discussing the timeline, I will also share my thoughts on how this could impact the theatrical release date and possible background setting for the film as well. So, if you're ready to dive in to the possible Scream 7 filming timeline, we're about to begin right now. Let's go! It's Stephen Arquette. Dewey from the Scream movies, as you know. Remember, there's only one rule to surviving a horror movie, and that's subscribing to Craven Something Scary. So Nev Campbell's convention agent, Sean Clark, has revealed on his The Thing with Two Heads podcast this week that he asked Nev about the filming timeline, and here is what he had to say. Nev Campbell is returning to Scream. I did ask her, and she said it's probably not shooting till the fall, so... Okay, so here we have Sean revealing that Nev says <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be the fall of this year before they begin filming Scream 7. Now, this, first of all, let's talk about what this could mean for the backdrop of the film or the back setting. Now, it's not winter time, so it's the fall. Now, of course, we know depending on where you are in the world, where they're gonna be filming this movie, exact locations, even in the fall, it can get really cold. Right, that's they're very possible. Uh, however, as far as having a snow-covered background that's naturally snowy and all that, like we've talked about before, maybe that would be the case. Then I would tend to think it would have to be further along in the winter time. But again, it depends when they start. If they start this at the end of November, then hey, you know, you film for nine weeks or so that puts you into January. So you definitely could have a snowy white background, right? And we've always talked about the idea of how cool would it be to have Scream with a snowy setting, right? We've, we've talked about that a lot. And when the movie came out, It's a Wonderful Knife, we got to kind of visually see what that really does look like, you know, with with the blood against the snow and, and uh, the, of course, the... the uh, the, the costume worn by the killer and It's a Wonderful Knife is white, so it's all white, so it really blends in. But it was it was still cool, though, to see, you know, everything with with the snowy background. So the question is, is that what we're going to get in, in Scream 7? Are they going for that snowy background, or is it just going to be, uh, you know, still part enough of the fall where we're not going to be getting snow and all of that. We'll have to wait and see. But at least the potential is there for there to be a snowy background for Scream 7 if they if they choose to film it over the late fall and early winter. And there are and if they film in a location that is conducive to those conditions obviously. So, you know, where, what, that's just going to depend on what they decide uh, as far as locations go. And I'm hoping we will be getting news in the next here few weeks coming up that will let us know where the actual location of filming will be. Knock on wood, fingers crossed, that that will be coming out soon so that we can actually then get a real, real good feel for potentially what is, is going to happen in terms of the background and the town itself 
right where the shots are so we'll stay tuned on on that front for sure now let's talk about the other question how does this timeline of the fall filming affect the release date the theatrical release date of scream 7 for next year well if they do film in the fall and that's what nev told sean then at this case in this case i would say that filming all of that gets done in january unless they start real early <laughs> but uh i think that filming is definitely wrapped up either uh, at the very last you know end of the year or first of january they call it a wrap and then the movie goes into post-production you know this is where we're going to go into editing the film you know adding your score and sound effects and all those other um, all those other pieces that make these movies so believable and so uh, slick and cool if we do a fall filming post-production begins in january let's say that's really aggressive but let's just say post-production begins in january i think you have a solid three at least three months to complete the film post to the production this includes any doing any reshoots uh going back and reshooting something that didn't uh you know re really respond the way that they anticipated uh you know reshoots is it, they happen every film has them so you're gonna have you know you gotta have time for that you gotta have time for uh, the you know the final edits to be done all that takes time so I, I think three months is reasonable so if they start in January that would put us through for January you have February March April so it would be sometime in the month of April that they would finish or finish the production of the film post-production and then if you're if you're there and you're done by the end of March april time frame march or april time frame then you're looking to release the movie you know you'll want to put the trailer out let's just just say it it goes uh january and then we got february we got march that's three months and we'll go you know we'll go three and a half months let's do that middle of march and then you then will begin doing the trailers uh getting all that stuff completed as well and so that's another month so now we're in probably mid-april and i could see at this point in mid-april to um early may we have the traders dropping the movie actually gets dropped end of may first of june and we have a summer scream that's that's definitely one of the possibilities but it really is going to depend on when they start filming and then kind of you know go from there that the ball roll from there and that will it will lead us down the path so we'll have to wait and see of course so if all this holds true to summarize if it if it is a fall shooting timeline i think the earliest screen seven comes out is summer of next year and they may deliberately hold it until october to take advantage of the ha halloween season that could be another possibility as well so all right guys listen that's my those are my thoughts right now about this and i want to know what you think about scream 7 possibly being filmed in the fall of this year what are your thoughts what are your ideas do you have any theories of how that could impact the story I'm curious about all of those things. So start leaving your comments below right now in the comment section of this video so we can discuss it together. Well, guys, that is it for this update, but I'll be back soon with more Scream 7 and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching.